And now we burgle. Can you grab the other end of... Oh, hey, man. Uh, you're gonna have to pay for that. Hello YouTube, this is DVD Review Studios here, and today we shall be doing an unboxing video looking at the complete series of Aqua Teen Hunger Force on DVD. This set is known as the Baffler Meal Collection. It's a 20 disc set and contains all 11 volumes of the original series, and it also includes the theatrical movie as well. And for a complete set, honestly, it's a great deal, it's a phenomenal Adult Swim animated series, something that I stumbled across several months ago, and here and there I've been watching episodes, but to finally get a complete series set, that was something that I did not anticipate, since unfortunately the DVD releases did actually stop, they released them individually, up until the spin-off season started with Aqua Unit Patrol Squad 1, and from there onwards, unfortunately, the other spin-offs never actually made it onto physical media. But to have, for the most part, the complete series, I'm honestly really impressed with this DVD set. It's a very slimline for such a bulky product, and to have so much content in such a, a streamlined set, I'm overall very impressed with the contents thus far. For those that may be unfamiliar with this series, to give you a brief kind of outline, this is known as arguably one of Adult Swim's longest running television shows, which began in the early 2000s and unfortunately was cancelled in 2015, despite one of the taglines being, Aqua Team will never be cancelled. Uh, the irony, I suppose, but this series is an edgy adult animated comedy created by Dave Wallace and Matt Malera, and it revolves around these three anthropomorphic fast food products, and together they are portrayed as kind of sort of superhero-esque kind of characters, and the first couple of episodes kind of give you that feel, and then you realise it's essentially just a sitcom with bizarre animated characters going through very unusual aspects of day-to-day -day life just living together. And I think that was a very interesting devolution of the show. It definitely subverted expectations, and I feel kind of opened up the doors for more possibilities without it being a forced superhero-style series, which I don't feel really would have benefited these characters, and that would have been a very claustrophobic show in comparison to what we have as the main series. And taking into account how this show began really is just a minor sketch on the 90s animated talk show Space Ghost Coast to Coast. The series really has come a long way. The format is fairly simplistic. Each episode is approximately 11 minutes long with a couple of extended ones here and there. And I should also mention this show is extremely cheap in terms of budget. The average episode was costing roughly about $60,000 which is extremely low in comparison to other animated TV shows that can be upwards of a million dollars, to give you some context. And here is the DVD box set outside of the shrink wrap. I absolutely love this front cover design with these really bizarre realistic interpretations of the main characters. Overall, a really great art style with Master Shake, Frylock, and of course, Meat Ward. 20 disc set like I mentioned before, there's the spine. And I love the design of the back cover, almost like a till roll receipt style printout, with the entire contents of this box set listed there for you, and a little nod to when the original episode of Aquatine Hunger Force aired over in the US, which I thought was a great touch as well. Uh, so like I mentioned, 20 discs and you're certainly getting a lot of content. We get the seven main volumes of the show and then the spin-off shows with Aqua Unit Patrol Squad 1 Season 1, Aqua Something You Know Whatever, Aqua TV Show Show, and then the finale series, Aqua Teen Hunger Force Forever, and a great inclusion of the movie, which I've actually not seen as of the time of recording this video, so I'm really looking forward to checking that out, and that is Aqua Teen Hunger Force, a colon movie film for theatres for DVD. And in terms of certificate ratings, the episodes themselves are not rated, but the movie did receive an R rating over in the US for crude and sexual humour, violent images, and language. And removing the outer cardboard sleeve, more or less everything does remain the same beneath on the actual sleeve, the only thing that is majorly different is the back being a little bit more descriptive as to what is included in the Aqua Teen Extended Universe, and how it's for the first time a complete collection on outdated DVD technology. 
Really wish this would have had a Blu-ray release, even though the earlier seasons may not have benefited from that too much. It would have been great to see some of the later seasons in Blu-ray quality at the very least, considering the vast majority, if not really all of the show, is available on streaming in 1080p quality, which would have been fantastic. But regardless, it's good to have it on physical disc no matter what, so there is the specifications there on the bottom, and your total runtime you're looking at 1684 minutes. And opening up this DVD set, we have the episode guide enclosed, which I always appreciate an episode guide. Fantastic stuff. We have all of the DVD discs enclosed on this plastic holder, and even some inside artwork, which I very much appreciate as well. Here's a brief look at the discs. Each one is clearly marked for whichever season or volume it corresponds with, given these interesting sort of burger-inspired designs spread across each individual disc, like so. Here is the episode guide included, which if you wish to pause and read through some of the content, such as the special features, by all means you can pause the video. Some really great stuff included. I've only seen so far all of Volume 1, which I very much enjoyed those episodes in particular. Some really fun stuff. Mayhem of the Moon Knights was fantastic, along with Revenge of the Moon Knights. And I absolutely loved the circus episode. That was a really bizarre one where Meat Ward gets sold to the circus to perform his igloo and hot dog morphing kind of techniques. And I did check out on YouTube, there's a bonus feature on Volume 4 known as Space Kataz, which was meant to be a spin-off series featuring the Moon Knights and the Plutonians, which would have been really interesting as a series concept. But unfortunately, it didn't really sell well when it was originally pitched. There's more of the contents included. And the last couple of seasons, which were never ever released on DVD before, so that's a reason alone to go ahead and get this box set. Unfortunately, not really any bonus features for those, but we do have some interesting extras for the movie. And having looked through the list of episodes included on this DVD set, there is a topic of controversy I wanted to bring up. And that is that this so-called complete series set is actually missing an episode. One episode was omitted. And that is from Season 6, Shake Like Me, which was originally included on the individual season release or volume release, but has actually been removed from not only HBO Max for streaming, but was taken off this DVD set, and I find that to be incredibly bizarre. I do have a brief theory about how the episode was removed, since this DVD set was originally intended to be released in July of 2022, but the release got pushed to September instead, so I'm wondering, did the removal of that episode from streaming therefore affect the DVD release and therefore cause the delay to remove it from the so-called complete series set? Really unfortunate in my eyes. And looking at this episode in particular, in more extensive detail, you can see both sides of the argument reasonably, where the episode comes across as maybe insensitive in the modern era of comedy, but also opposing that comedy in itself is subjective by nature. It's really up to interpretation how you perceive it and if you find it funny or not. And the way the episode describes itself, such as this description from Frylock. You were bitten by a radioactive black man. But I don't expect any lingering effects. This is already such a strange concept and I feel that giving this a more negative outlook will only really influence how the audience is meant to feel, whether it be outrage that the episode has been book burnt or offence because of the contents of the episode. And personally, I feel this episode is really more so designed to be outlandish with this outdated stereotypical portrayal, and that only makes you as the viewer feel more so uncomfortable to the point where you can recognize that this is an incorrect portrayal or stereotype. It's disappointing when any part of history is either book burnt or changed in a certain way, and I'll be honest, it is a shame that the episode was removed from the DVD set, considering it's really only going to be collectors and hardcore fans of the show that will purchase something like this, and so to not really pertain to that audience and remove the episode in its entirety, just in case it comes across as offensive, Really, the studio is only saving face with something like that, and this kind of movement, I feel, is only going to cause more outrage than anything. 
And in terms of content that was not included in this DVD set, I was kind of curious when this was announced as to whether or not the infamous unfinished episode Boston may have been included. And unfortunately not. With that episode, there's a lot of controversy surrounding that one as well. Not in the same light as Shake Like Me, but in terms of the episode being unfinished with multiple idea endings in mind and no finalised vision, to my knowledge, for the episode to be completed. In 2015, a draft version of the episode did funnily enough leak, and if you know where to look, I am sure you'll be able to easily find the episode if you are curious about Boston. But in short, there was a really bizarre marketing campaign done for the Aqua Team movie back in 2007, and this went wrong where LED placards of the Moon Knight characters Egg Noct and Ur were misinterpreted in the city of Boston and thought of as explosive devices due to the harsh way that these placards were put together. And so in a post-9-11 world, people started to wonder, are these dangerous, are these explosive? And this wasted thousands and thousands of dollars, upset many people, and caused the city to more or less shut down for hours and hours whilst people did investigations looking into this issue, and obviously nothing came of it other than it being a publicity stunt gone horribly wrong. So I was really hoping that episode would be included, whether it be an unfinished version, or just a hidden easter egg on just this DVD set with this supposedly being the complete series. That would have been really fun to have Shake Like Me and a version of Boston included. Regardless of the emissions, I'm overall really happy with this DVD set. It overall, it's a fantastic piece for the collection. If you're a fan of the show, it's a no-brainer to pick this up, especially if you want something on your shelf to represent the series, and to have the unreleased DVDs included, since obviously you cannot get those individually. And it's a great bonus to have the movie included on here as well. The only criticisms I would say is that it would have been great to have a Blu-ray option for this show as well. And in terms of the DVD set, this was extremely expensive. If you're looking to grab this, I would 100% wait a couple of months for this to go down in price, just so then obviously you're getting a much better deal. So if you enjoyed this unboxing, be sure to leave me a like down below. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Are you irritated that certain aspects of the show, such as Shake Like Me, were not included with this DVD set? And do you have a favourite episode of Aquity? And I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions. And for more content, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, DVD Review Studios. Are you threatening me?